York Times and the International Herald Tribune. This is Susie Menkes in Milan with Peter Dundas, the creative director of Emilio Pucci. Pucci's always been a brand with an aristocratic edge, and I wouldn't say that Peter Dundas has thrown that away, but he's cracked it open. He's made the clothes seem friendly and fun, and he's having a great success in rejuvenating the house of Pucci. You're a bit of a blonde bombshell here at Pucci. You've really brought a lot of sex and sensuality and a lot of change to the brand. Tell us about that. Well, really what I've been doing has been completely instinctual. I never set out to do that, and it, in the beginning, I was a little bit surprised when, when the people kept describing what I did as sexy. I don't think about it as particularly sexy. I, I love the, uh, the body, I love the female form, and so I suppose I see it as a little bit of my duty to embellish it and, and make it uh, be as attractive and desirable as possible to me. There's always a lot of talk these days about heritage, the heritage of a brand. Is there something about Florence that has to be brought into Pucci? Is there something to do with its history or the background? Well, I think it's important for Pucci because I think that all the initial prints were very, very much inspired by the Renaissance uh, the architecture. And when I first started working, when the, my first day I arrived at the Pucci Palazzo and I'd never been there and I saw this incredible setting. So I tried to use the even the idea of that, of this woman that has this past, of this woman that lives in this palazzo. It's, it makes you dream and so uh, it's very, very strong in, in what I do. How do you make that modern? Because, you know, the past is the past. How do you bring it into the future? I usually say that it's important to be respectfully disrespectful. And I think with Pucci it was very important to show a new side and a fresh side to the Pucci girl. And that, that wasn't so obvious because I think a lot of people had a lot of preconceived notions about what they thought Pucci would look like, what they thought Pucci would look like in the runway. I think it's important today as well with these houses to take a, a flavor of it, but it doesn't necessarily have to be literal interpretations. I, I don't believe that's right. What is your process of working? Do you always start with a pencil and a piece of paper? Do you start with a fabric? What's it all about? Well, I love sketching. That's one of my favorite parts of my job. Sometimes as well, it's the first sketch that actually is the first uh, look that goes out the runway as well. You've talked a lot about the Pucci girl. What about the Pucci woman? Doesn't she have an older or more sensible side? Or is life just a party for her? When I use the word, uh, the terminology girl, it's because I think it was important to, uh, to push the brand forward and, and make it feel young and make it feel fresh. I, I think the girl, uh, one can be a girl at any age. And I certainly know I'm a kid uh, in many ways, or so I'm told. So it's just an expression. The Pucci girl, of course, is a Pucci woman as well. <laughs>